Welcome back to another episode of the Barrow Youth Academy Career Mode on FIFA 23. It's been a little while since I've done this. Whew. Apologies for the length of time in between the, this episode and the last one, but um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, which if you, if you don't, then follow me on Twitter. Um, over the last week, I have been fairly busy. Well, not necessarily busy, but more so just taking some time out and just doing some other things. I went to Scarefest at Alton Towers, spent a couple of days away in Landonno on a short break just to sort of refresh myself, relax, get away from everything. And now I'm back. So now we are back in business. Do have a bit more content in this episode to sort of make up for the fact that it's been over a week since the last upload. There will be highlights in this episode. I have played a month off camera or rather not commentated on. Thank you very much to Mr. Darkweaver for the upgrade for Francie Shaboa. Wanted a long shirt that wasn't tucked in, blue wristband, long socks and blue boots. As you can see by him there, he certainly has all of those things. Apart from the blue wristbands, with long sleeves you can't see wristbands, so what I've had to do is give him blue wrist tape instead so you can actually see it. Also, the squad number 21. Now also something he mentioned was Tony Yaboa. Of course, Tony Yaboa is a striker who used to play for Leeds a long, long time ago. I don't know who else he played for. I don't know too much about Tony Yaboa other than like the classic goals that he scored. And he has referenced that he could be Francis Yaboa's uncle. I did get a comment in, the, in an earlier episode saying that this could be Tony Yaboa's son. Honestly, I felt that that was too close of a relation. But uncle, or well, nephew in this case, Francis Yaboa, it's, it feels right. He also asked me to shave him balls. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I can't change players' hairstyles, unfortunately. So he is going to have to stick with the hair. Okay, then before we go any further, let's take a look at what happened in the previous month of this series. Northampton Town at home was 0-0 until Northampton scored a quick-fire goal in the 80th minute and then another quick-fire goal in the 85th minute. So that was a 2-0 loss. Lovely stuff defence, yeah. We then had two simulated games. First up, Gillingham at home, which we drew one all. And then Colchester away, which we lost 4-2. So then we move on to another home game against Stockport, which uh, we kept on having chances. We kept on having chances, but finally, we made a breakthrough and we actually scored. Ledesma with a header, uh, getting a rebound in off the crossbar and a goal then for Stockport straight after. But then we scored again with Alan Gannon with a header and then, of course, Stockport scored straight after again because, uh, you know, our defence suddenly turns to mush when we start scoring because that's how it works, isn't it? So then we have Harrogate at home in which we score this brilliant goal from Ledesma. Look at that shot. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then Tom Daniels on his first start for the club, getting his first goal for the club and our second of the game as we beat Harrogate Town 2-0. Before we go any further, I'll quickly simulate this game against Bradford and we've lost 3-0. Oh, Malone got sent off. Lovely. I meant to do that as part of the highlights and just didn't. But now it means we've got all of the monthly scouting reports available. The last two from Japan and Canada. Unfortunately, Canada has not given us anything good enough in its last scout report. Japan has, though. It's given us Arata. Watanabe so he's gonna get signed up Kinzo Yamada looks decent but his potential isn't quite there and Clausen in England gives us Ibrahim Bell Kudwer and now because that means that was the last scout report from those two countries it means we have two new countries to scout of course keep on putting your comments down below for countries you want me to scout and of course um, the type of players you want me to scout as well if you wish to ask for a type of player as some people have already so the two new countries we are going to are Switzerland that is a different one for sure where is Switzerland we're going to Switzerland for three months for a defensive minded player and the other country we're going to head to is Mexico for three months for any kind of player. Like I say, after these, after these two countries, I only have three countries left on the list. So get your comments down below for where you want me to scout. If, of course, if there isn't any comments, then I will just choose them myself, of course. I'll probably randomise it if I end up having to choose them myself. Arata Watanabe, I'll keep on the right-hand side, but I'll change him from a right mid to a right winger. And Ibrahim Bell is a centre midfielder, and he will stay as a centre midfielder. Joshua Diamond has now turned 18, so I think it's time to call him up to the senior team. And this, I've only just realised, will actually be the final episode of the season, because we only have six games left. 
so we might as well finish it off here. Let's hope it doesn't end with us getting sacked, otherwise that's the series over. <laughs> I just hate the fact that the glitch with the sent off players is still in the game. You have to actually swap them out before you go into the other screen. It's so stupid. Hopefully now, after those highlights, we have broken the goal scoring duck and we start conceding. We start conceding goals? No, I hope not. We start scoring more goals. Hopefully we do that. Let's go. Barrow against Newport. Oh, good stuff from Ledesma. Great interception. Here we go now down the wing, possibly. Oh, get it back. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Here's Suzuki. Hasn't really got a lot of options at the moment. Finds Reese Elliott. And it's easily saved by Townsend. Connolly, good stuff. Gannon now. Here is Suzuki into the middle for Francis Shaboa. And Townsend makes the save. It's going to be like that, is it? Our passing's gone to mush again. We keep giving it away to him, and our tackling is also not working out. It's Zanzala. Get in there, Patrick Bell. Here's Elliot. Oh, it's found its way to Yaboa. Here's Elliot again. Now Suzuki looking for Ledesma. That wasn't the greatest of passes from Suzuki, but Ledesma's found a bit of space here to get a cross in, and it's had to be headed away off the line. Here is Reese Elliot again. Gives it to Suzuki. That's such a terrible first touch. He's got the ball back, has he? Yes, he has. It's Tatsui Suzuki. At least we got a shot on target. Farquharson's in a bit of trouble. Ledesma's got it, has he? Oh, just can't find the pass. Connolly slides in. Brilliant. Oh, my God. Pass the ball to one of our players. Every time we do something good, we follow it up. We're just passing it straight back to them. That's, that's how it's been at the moment. Wait, what? Hold up a second. Okay, he just doesn't exist. That that player's literally just disappeared. What actually happened there? He ran into Farkas and he's given a penalty for that. I can't believe it. Well, we're about to go 1-0 down through no fault of our own, are we? No, we're not because of Patrick Bell. That's what he's there for. We really do need to make some changes though because, oh my God, we're playing absolutely awful. Here's Boyce looking over the top for Ledesma. Ledesma's first touch again. Everyone's first touch and everyone's passing is just minus 200. Oh, Daniels, here we go. Come on, you've got to have the pace for this. He's stolen it off the defender. It's Tom Daniels, you flipping idiot. Pope just muscles that player out of the way. One last chance, possibly. Tatsui Suzuki, boys, through for Gannon. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Alan Gannon! Oh my god, what a finish that was! <laughs> I can't believe that! We've actually just won it right at the death. After having almost nothing, we've had two great chances to try and win this game. We haven't taken them. And then Alan Gannon comes up with that right at the end. What a lovely ball around the corner from Boyce. Oh, what a finish from Gannon. What a finish that is from Alan Gannon. Unbelievable stuff. Last kick of the game. <laughs> yes. Oh, that felt good. That felt really good. Finally, we're getting offers for the real players. Richie Bennett has finally had a transfer offer, this time from Salford. And we are going to finally see Richie Bennett out the door. Look, the offers are coming in now. An offer for, from Sarpsburg for Ben Whitfield. Yes, please. Go on then. Right, we're going to get through a couple of simulated games now. First up, we have Salford away. We're going to quick sim this. This is the Easter weekend games. So uh, oh, we've lost 3-2 with uh, Daniel Marsh and Bent Farkas. That's two defenders getting goals. And next up, we have Rochdale at home, which the second team will contest instead. And oh my days, what the hell happened there? How is our team getting worse? We're genuinely getting worse now. Miles Kenlock is going to be heading out the door as well. He is going to... I think that's a Romanian club. Right, now this is a pretty big game. Carlisle United away from home. Of course, a big rivalry between these two clubs. And Carlisle are actually one place below us in the league. We are in 22nd. They are in 23rd. Basically, whoever wins this game probably won't finish bottom of the league. So it's a pretty big game in that respect. And Patrick's through already. And that's a big save from the other Patrick. Patrick Bell. I think a change of sliders are in order when next season starts not to make it easier it's not to make it easier it's to make it feel more fun because at the moment i am not having fun with how the game is playing with these with this current slider setup i like playing fast football and this is just way too slow 
Dan is... Oh, oh, God! I don't even know what happened there. <laughs> I think it, it was a shot. Uh, not a shot. It was a cross that missed everyone. And whoever it was at the back post volleyed it. It hit Connolly. And because it hit Connolly, it actually directed it back on target. I don't even know anymore. I'm trying to commentate on something that's just happened. And I don't even know what actually happened. <laughs> Hilton... It's still Hilton now. He's in the box. Bell with the save. Get there. Oh, my. He's off. He's offside. Thank goodness for that. Oh, nice stuff from Ledesma. Here we go now. Suzuki finding Francis Chabot. No way we're going to do it again. We could have done if, if Francis Chabot had decided to go to the ball quicker. Tatsui Suzuki. He's going to put this ball in. It's going to be towards Daniel Marsh. Oh, Thomas. Holy, why are you so tall? Here's Suzuki. One last long shot. Ooh, that was very close. One last attempt, one last corner. Here we go now. Here we go. Suzuki gets it towards the far post. Holly's going to get there and it's going to be a nil-nil draw. What a surprise. Okay, our final two games of this season are against Stevenie, true in 21st, and Sutton, who are dead last. We now... We can finish dead last still, but we don't want that to happen. Carlisle have got a game in hand for some reason. I don't know why. We're going to simulate this game at home to Stevenage, and then we're going to play the final game of the season at home, uh, away against Sutton. Let's see how we get on in this game against Stevenage. What a surprise. Simulations aren't helping us anymore. And that now means we can't finish above Stevenage either, which is great. We've dropped into 23rd, which is a relegation place, essentially. So we have to win this game to ensure that we don't get relegated at this point. Obviously, we can't actually get relegated, but it, it feel, it'll feel weird to finish in the bottom two of League Two and not get relegated. We are now in the orange with the manager rating as well. We've got U Squad Monthly Reports, the final one from England. Oh my god, it's a goalkeeper. He looks decent, Frankie Goodwin, but his it's, uh, potentials are shocking. Why are the potentials so bad? First one from Mexico. Everyone's terrible. And the first one from Switzerland, defensive-minded players. We've got a couple down here. Yes, Tom. Oh, it's is he defensive-minded or is he physically strong? Either way, Thomas Haas, who is worth seven hundred thousand pounds, fifty to sixty-eight overall, seventy-five to ninety-four potential. Lovely, and we've also got Alessandro Tanner. Get them both in the club. Pretty sure I selected defensive-minded. So why on earth was Thomas Haas like? flipping a striker yeah very very defensive minded that very defensive minded indeed we're going to have a little clear out of this youth academy unfortunately players like Masaso Okada and James Lavery they're going to go their potentials are not high enough it's as simple as that um, and we've also got oh, Thomas Sheridan as well overall's not high enough and potential's not high enough Mm, Kazuo Matsui I think might have to go as well he's just he's l the lowest overall striker in the club right here we are then final game of this episode and of this season we've got a pretty backup team out because if you guys don't know what I like to do last game of every season if we're not playing for something that is is I like to give players that don't normally play or haven't played too much the chance to play um, in this final game because this game doesn't really mean anything Sutton United are bottom we're second bottom they're five points behind us so we can't finish bottom which is nice um, we are trying to get higher than 23rd we'll see what happens though so uh, yeah Sutton United against Barrow here goes Connor Clark on the wing he is playing up front but he has got speed he sees uh, Kai Taylor in the middle it's it's a shot it saves he gets to the second header but it's just awful Pagiel plays it inside for Neufil, and it is 1-0 to Sutton. For some reason, whoever that defender was, who I was apparently controlling, just stood off Bugiel completely and let him chest it down and pass it to Neufil. I mean, just look at that. Who, who was that? That was Malone. I was controlling Malone, but nope. He just moved back on his own. Game. This game goes out wide to Kai French. The two Kais working well together. Lovely ball. Finding Ollie Pope. That touch was terrible. What a surprise. Suzuki heads it down. Pope with the volley. And it's just... At least, you know, keepers had to make a save, even though it wasn't going in. That's a poor touch. It's Connor Clark. Keeper makes the save. Ollie Pope. Why did he take a touch? I didn't... I pressed the button so quickly, man. Anyway, Suzuki to float it in towards Daniel Marsh and somehow House has made another save. Find Suzuki. Suzuki out wide for French. I see you there, Kai French. God damn it, just get it on goal. 
Here's Neufil again, passing it into Bugiel. I can't switch players quickly enough, and it's switching to the wrong player every time. Here goes Connor Clark. Pope's making a good run here. Here goes Ollie Pope. Why have you let it bounce? You, oh my god. <sighs> my days, man. Earth to Barrow, hello. Where are you? Hart with a cross in, Bugiel and Shields. I think that's his first save in, ever. He's, he's made like three or four appearances, and I think that's the first save he's ever made. Oh my god, that's that's some great play from Sutton United. And Shields makes another save. I'm just struggling to commentate right now because everything's just happening out of nothing because nothing is happening, if you get what I mean. Like, that attack came from nowhere. Well, Desma steals it. That's, a good stu that's good stuff from him. He's going to cross it. He's going to find Kai French. The keeper saves it again. Can we just score a goal, please? Suzuki to put it into the box again. It's going to be towards Ledesma. And again, the keeper's made the save. I don't even know how Ledesma won that header. Bit more drilled again. Yeah, there we go. Oh my God, just let me get one in the goal, please. Marsh, head it back. Suzuki on his left. Of course, it's blocked. Here we go now. One last chance to equalise, possibly. Yeboah, keep running. Keep running. That's such a terrible pass. That is just... What an end to the season, eh? What an end to the season. Oh, yes. Losing to the club at the bottom of the table. Oh, my days. So we finished in 23rd place. If it were real, if, it, if this was Football Manager, if it was real life, we'd have been relegated to the National League. On, by virtue of goal difference um, underneath Carlisle. That would have been the biggest kick in the teeth ever. Here we go, we've had a transfer offer from Finn Hart, so Benny Smales Braithwaite, he will be heading off to the League of Ireland. We're also just not getting the cutscene anymore, which is weird. Anyway, scouting reports, we've got Mexico and uh, Christian Hernandez, we'll call him up just because we've found no one else decent so far. I'm not going to lie. And finally, we've got Switzerland and no one good this time. Right, quick run through the squad then. Francis Chiboa ended up being our top scorer with 14 goals. I'm pretty sure most of them came in the first 15 games of the season. Daniel Marsh with nine, of course. He spent most of the season as a striker. Farkas and Ledesma with five each. And then Gannon, Boyce and Duncan with three. And then Connolly, French, Daniels, McDonald, Malone and Wells with, goals, with, with just one goal each. And Richie Bennett as well got one. Assist-wise, it was Kai French, Francis Chaboa and Xavier Ledesma all with six. And Alan Gannon with five, which isn't too bad. Clean sheets, Spence Farkas and Xavier Ledesma with 15. The goalkeeper who got the most clean sheets, of course, was Patrick Bell with 10, which, when on the face of it, isn't too bad. We just can't score either. Luckily, the board like us still. So uh, hopefully we, we don't get sacked. We shouldn't get sacked, really. Alan Nijevic is returning from loan. Let's hope he returns back to Real Sociedad again. We're not we're not sacked. That's good stuff. Oh, that's why we didn't have any cutscenes, because everyone was leaving. Every, everyone wasn't actually leaving yet. Of course, stupid idiot. But yeah, there we go. That's going to end off this episode of the Barrow Youth Academy career mode on FIFA 23, the end of the season. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you like what you see and you want to see more. And if you don't want to miss a video, hit that little bell next to the subscribe button. You'll get a notification whenever I upload. Get your comments down below for countries you want me to scout. And of course, just, yeah, comments, really. <laughs> I enjoy reading comments. I don't know if you can tell. But anyway, yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.